The title of today's video is Why Most Dropshippers Fail. Uh, I just happened to stumble upon this uh, Reddit post on the Dropship subreddit today, and I thought it really highlighted and was almost kind of a case study for a point that I've been trying to make for years here. Um, now, uh, for everybody who's tuning in, you guys have tuned into Rules for Rebels. Here we talk about uh, e-commerce, Shopify, making money online, and I imagine this video is probably going to draw in some drop shippers who maybe don't normally watch my channel. Um, you know, I'm not a big drop shipping guy. Um, I do a lot of Shopify stuff, but I've never really been a huge fan of drop shipping, at least not in a way that most people are drop shipping. I absolutely hate like the AliExpress and the China drop shipping. I just don't feel like it provides a good customer experience. But if drop shipping is done right, it's really no different than any other normal e-commerce business. It's just simply a different fulfillment method. Um, but I saw this post today and it really kind of highlighted a point that I've been trying to make for a long time, which is like, you know, drop shipping is just e-commerce. When it really boils down to it, you're running an e-commerce business. And I, I thought this post really kind of highlighted this point in a much clearer way than, than maybe I've, I've tried to illustrate in the past. Um, I see a lot of people coming at e-commerce from like, how do I have success with my drop shipping business? Uh, how do I find a winning product for my drop shipping business? How do I do this for my drop shipping business? How do I do that for my drop shipping business? And people are so hung up on drop shipping and being a drop shipper that they kind of fail to see like at the end of the day, you're building a business, you're building an e-commerce store, you're building a customer base. Um, and people get way too kind of hung up on the idea of drop shipping. And I've been saying for a long time, if your idea of starting a successful Shopify store, a successful business is finding a quote unquote winning product, most likely you're going to fail. And even if you succeed, it's going to be very short term, right? Like if you find a winning product, either eventually that's going to either that's a fad product and eventually it's going to kind of fall out of fashion or it's uh, or other people are going to see that you're having success with it. And other people are going to come in and either drive the price down to where nobody's making money or they're actually going to buy stock and buy inventory and they're going to be able to provide better shipping times and a better customer experience and they're going to steal all your customers away. So anyhow, this kid posted this, uh, Anthfac109 posted this on the Dropship subreddit today and he goes on to say, uh, I guess the title of the post was, this has been on my mind for a while now, dot, dot, dot. And he goes on to say, this may seem like more of a ramble than an organized thought, but we'll see what comes out of my head. I began trying to drop ship over three years ago. Over that time, I've had a few small successes, a few hundred dollars here and there until last summer. And that kind of illustrates exactly what I was talking about. You know, you might make a couple bucks on this product and then eventually it stops selling and then you're moving on to the next one. It's hard to build a customer base. It's hard to find a product that sells well. And if you're a drop shipper who comes at this trying to find the next winning product, you're constantly going to be having to find the next winning product. That's kind of why I got out of Amazon because Amazon, I, you know, I kind of had the same experience. It's, it's, you're always searching for the next product, the next winning product, and then eventually, you know, it kind of stops selling or sales fizzle out or somebody else comes in who's willing to spend more money or play dirtier. Um, but he goes on to say, I've, I had taken about a three month break and decided to just focus on my day job as I was getting aggravated with not having huge success with drop shipping. Last June, I decided to give it another go, except it's, uh, except this time I was looking at it from a totally new perspective. Instead of viewing it as quote unquote drop shipping, which I feel is the way most folks do, and I, I agree with that, I began looking at it as a base form of what is e-commerce. Instead of focusing on finding good products, not even winning products, I focused on building a store and settling into an already existing community. So it sounds like he kind of started a niche business and catering to a niche or a community as opposed to running this like general store trying to find a winning snorkel or something like that. In 30 days from June 23rd to July 23rd, I managed to do over $1,700 in sales and over $1,000 in profit without paid advertising or paid shout outs, only using Instagram. <coughs> Excuse me. It wasn't long after this that I quit my job and began focusing on it full time. Now back to what the post is about. I think way too many people are focused on the drop shipping aspect instead of building a business aspect. Most of us know that a lot of the community expects to throw up a store and make hundreds of thousands of dollars. Thanks, gurus. Uh, but I think it goes even deeper than that and steers people away from the processes and thoughts and thought processes it takes to build an online to build a business online. Don't think of it as drop shipping. Think of it as regular e as regular commerce. You know, like a vendor at the mall or a local business you randomly came across and buy stuff from. 
except with an online storefront. Then focus on what you want to sell, who do you want to sell it to, and put it in front of them. Not sure if this made sense at all, but hopefully someone gets it and it helps change your perspective. Um, and, and for this guy calling it a ramble, I thought this was an, an incredibly uh, cohesive thought and really a, a clear way of how people should be looking at uh, any form of e-commerce, whether you're running a Shopify store, a WooCommerce store, you're drop shipping, uh, you're selling print on demand, you're holding inventory. Uh, ultimately, at the end of the day, you want to build a real business. You don't want to be real. You don't want to rely on gimmicks and finding winning products and uh, general stores of then finding a product to scale up because you're constantly going to be on the hunt for new products. Um, you know, I, I just I thought this was a wonderful post and I thought this is is a great way of looking at e-commerce. Come at e-commerce as somebody who's uh, you know an e-commerce seller and not I'm specifically a drop shipper. Uh, I think the reason why a lot of these like, you know, YouTube gurus and drop shipping stuff uh, tends to get so popular and get so many people engaged and so many people following their process is because, you know, most people want like something simple. They want, you know, five steps to five steps to success, five steps to making money online, five steps to starting a successful drop shipping store. And, and I think with drop shipping, or at least the way that most of these people present drop shipping, they present it in this like easy to follow pattern that winds up failing for 99% of people. Typically the only person making money is the guy selling these methods. Uh, and you know, starting an actual business isn't something that can be broken down as easily into you know, five steps, seven steps, three steps, 10 steps, whatever it may be. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be more complicated. It's gonna be a little bit more work, uh, but it's gonna be something that's gonna you know, stand the test of time. And it's a business that you can potentially run and grow and scale and, uh, you know, turn into something bigger over time as opposed to looking for, you know, these winning products that maybe make you a couple hundred dollars before you have to move on to the next one. So uh, let me know your guys' thoughts on this. Do you agree with this? Do you disagree with this? Uh, hopefully some of you guys who are drop shippers, maybe this gives you a, a different uh, perspective to look at your business from. Um, and I think if you follow this advice or look at e-commerce is e-commerce as opposed to drop shipping uh, i think you're gonna have a lot more success so i uh, would love to hear from you guys drop your comments down below if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and if you are not subscribed to the channel click that subscribe button down below uh, thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you on the next video